going to plan a world trip in 41 days. Okay? So you have to plan and visualize your trip in as much detail as possible. That is taking into account some categories. Yes? Categories uh, which are as follows. The first one you should write in your notebook. Get the title, get the planning.
about a coast, life being easier uh, than in the remote towns and farms, about the outback. So, can you identify the, the, the country which the sentence refers to from the list you have uh, in your, on your handout? I think that country is Australia. Yes, well done, Australia. Mm -hmm. Somebody else would like to try? Um, let's see. Uh, how about Sebastian? Yes. For five, uh, 400 years ago, it was the center of the I, Inca. I, Inca Empire. 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 Uh, that uh, stretched the land, land, uh, Lens. land uh, of South America. Yes, well done. Okay, so now what, which uh, is the key phrase that might lead you to um, the country which is being described here? Peru. Yes, but which is the, the phrase? Yes, the phrase oh. which... The Inca Empire, isn't it? Okay, now in your notebooks, you should take some notes, some useful words that you might use in your description. Yes, and from the first sentence, what do we have? Remote towns and farms, yes? Write it down, remote towns, towns and farms. The coast. And outback, okay? From the second sentence, to stretch, yes, an empire stretches, yeah. And maybe lens, okay, lens, which is the noun from which adjective? Long, yes, well done. Yes, now. Uh, we should, uh, you should come to the blackboard and for each category um, to write some words that might be associated with a particular category. For instance, for countries, uh, what is small, small country, yes. Rich. Rich, yes. Underdeveloped. Yes, underdeveloped, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all these uh, words and phrases should be, or can be attributed to countries. And let's write them on the blackboard. Who would like to come? Yes? Mm -hmm. So, we'll make a list of useful vocabulary for you to insert and to use in your descriptions of your world trip. So, country reach. small, yes, reach. Four. Poor, of course, <laughs> opposite, yes, underdeveloped, or, and if we think of China, how is China? Yes, overpopulated. Yes, well done, I think that's enough. Let's see for people, yes, go to your seat, somebody else for people. Yes, Dennis? Yes, okay. And maybe uh, some of you will help Dennis with some more words, some extra words. So people, again, rich. Okay, rich people. And poor. Other, other words. Descendants. Descendants. What do you mean by descendants? Descendants from, can you give us an example? So Brazil, in Brazil we can find people descended from, from what? From Indian tribes and from, since they speak Portuguese, Portuguese people, yes? Okay, descendants from. Okay, good. Uh, go to your seat, thank you. How about cultures? How can cultures be? Modern. Modern, modern, okay. Mm -hmm. Where can we find modern cultures? Hmm? In which part of the world, yes? Japan. Yes, and even the United States, if this is a, a young country, isn't it? So ancient, mm -hmm. an ancient country? which 
States back, back, back in time. Egypt, well done. India as well. Okay, go to your seat. Let's see landscapes. Yes, Anna. Forest. Forest. Yes. These are words used that we can use to describe landscapes for a particular country. You should write them down in your notebook. Desert. Deserts. Yes. Something else? <coughs> Volcanoes. Lakes. 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 Yes. Fields. Fields. Okay. Now we have the list of useful words on the blackboard, yes? What you have to do now is to use some of them for your descriptions. So you have to plan and visualize your world trip in 41 days. Um, the time limit is 10 minutes and this is an individual task. Then, after you finish your task, I will randomly choose some of you who will come in front of the class, yes, and read out their descriptions, yes, okay, and we'll vote for the best description. We'll choose, let's say, three of you, okay? Thank you, now. Climate is cold. There's a 
In Canada, there's one uh, species that fascinates, fascinates me. Uh, it is the elk. Uh, it is the? Elk. Okay, the elk. Can you spell elk on, on the board? Yes, can you describe the elk? Uh, it's uh, got the uh, big horns, uh, like a uh, eel. Yes, okay, so it resembles the eel. Yes. People in Canada are very polite. Uh, uh, the cities uh, I, which I'd like to visit are Toronto, Ottawa, and uh, Montreal. Ottawa is the capital of uh, Canada. Uh, Canada is uh, known for uh, winning the Olympics many times uh, at uh, the hockey category. Okay. Uh, they have a modern culture. Also, the prime language languages are English and French. Uh, one place I'd like, which I'd like to, to visit is uh, Niagara Waterfall. Okay, waterfall. Do you all know this word? Waterfall? Yes. Yes. Can you give us a, a, the, an example of another waterfall, just to make sure uh, you have understood the word? The word. Do we have in Romania waterfalls? Yes. A name? Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Now, after this activity, you are going to watch a short video, an interesting one, by somebody who. Uh, plan the trip for 41 days while watching write down the countries the names of the countries that you believe uh, this person has visited yes uh, and please use modal words since you're not sure whether uh, he uh, whether you are right or wrong also find clues that will justify your belief, so to say. Yes, for instance, if you see an elephant, you might believe that he uh, visited which country? Australia. Australia. Do we have, India. Do we have India. elephants in Australia? India. No. <laughs> in India. In India or India. Africa, yes. Okay, so you got the point, yes? So let's watch the video. Yes. Yes, what have you learned today? Yeah. You, you, you reach my 
vocabulary, words, phrases, and geography and buildings. Okay, geography and buildings, well done. I now have the wish to go there and visit them. Yes. Mm -hmm. 